Intel tells us that there's ghosts in Eastern Oregon ghost towns. Come scared of ghosts. Come join us for our next adventure. Today we're going to investigate some of the ghost towns in eastern Oregon. Uh, some that are out in the wheat fields south of the Dalles. And some of the cemeteries that are out and about in these smaller ghost towns. Uh, it's a brisk 31 degrees, so we're going to get started. Hope you enjoy the video. We're standing just south of the first ghost town that we're going to visit today, which is the town of Ortley in Oregon. Originally it was platted as um, orchards and home sites in different sizes by the Hood River Fruit and Orchard Company. But due to the high winds and that damaged the tree limbs and uh, the lack of water up here on the, on the hill, uh, that those plans were short-lived. The post office opened in 1911, closed in 1922. We are at Friend, Oregon. It's basically a ghost town. It has an old store down the road, but they've got uh, the do not enter sign up there, probably because of COVID. But anyway, um, we're about 13 miles south of Dufer, Oregon, uh, probably about uh, 20 miles south of the Dalles. Not a lot here, but uh, we've been here. So here's Friend. We're at Friend's school, <laughs> the town of Friend. This is a schoolhouse that was built in 1909, uh, used for a number of years, and uh, it's still here, still existing. And if you look off to the west, you can see Mount Hood. In the, in the distance. Also, there's a water well with the windmill uh, so they can draw water from the ground. I don't know how long how deep that well is, but out here it's pretty dry, so I imagine they're gonna have to dig pretty deep. Um, got a couple outhouses, so I guess uh, schoolhouse came with restrooms. Well, we're standing in a spot where Kingsley, Oregon used to be. Kingsley was established with a post office in 1878 and met its demise in 1920 with the introduction of the rail system into Friend. Uh, pretty much all we have now is wheat fields and sagebrush and a little bit of trees and some beautiful background that you can see. Uh, with uh, Mount Jefferson and uh, Mount Hood's covered up by those trees. But anyway, uh, we're real, real close to the mountains here and snow. It's about 33 degrees out right now. 
kind of wonder how some of these smaller towns out here in eastern Oregon turned into ghost towns, but you can kind of get an idea based on the terrain. Lots of grasslands, and out in the middle of nowhere is a cemetery. We're going to kind of walk through this. This is the Kingsley Catholic Cemetery. Kingsley is no more, but there is still some people that live in the area. Some families that have little plots here. And so we're going to just kind of wander through and take a look. You can see Mount Hood in the distance. Kind of give you an idea of where we're at. Pretty wet. It was a little bit of fun getting in here with the muddy roads. now standing in Boyd, Oregon. Behind me is the Green Elevator. That's one of the remaining buildings here in Boyd. It was incorporated up until 1955 when it was de-incorporated in Wasco County. And all around us here is pretty much just wheat fields. Well, that's our video for today. It's a little cold. We're going to jump in the car and get warmed up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like our video, just uh, send us a like. Feel free to comment. And if you want, you can subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you as part of Senior Snips. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, copy. Take care of some personal business. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our video this week. We didn't find the ghost, luckily, but we're going to keep looking because there's 300 ghost towns in eastern Oregon and eastern Washington. So come join us on our next adventure. If you liked our video, give us a comment, give us a like, or even subscribe. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again.